All right, hey guys, Marcus here. It's a beautiful day for music. It's a wonderful day for sound. Let's learn this lick with me here. Starting off right at the very beginning, I have a two four measure. It's gonna be one E, two E, stop. Now, with that particular two four measure, I will be rebounding both of those notes, both of them nice and even, still subdividing 16th notes in my head. Let's try it a few times. Two, ready, and ta -ta 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 stop. Two, ready, and ta -ta 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 stop. Two, ready, and ta -ta 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 stop. Two, ready, and ta -ta 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 stop. Notice, by the way, my second left hand when I have this, ta -ta -ti -ti -ta -ta, is stopping down, but then my right hand is continuing to rebound here. The reason that's the particular case is because I, I end on an accent with my right hand, but then my next left hands that come in are gonna be nice and low. So that's why I'm choosing to make that particular decision about which ones I'm allowing to come up and which ones I'm keeping down. Let's try it a few more times. Ready? And ta 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 Two. Ready? And ta 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 Nice. Now, at the start of this next measure, I have one E, a two E, and a three. Yes? Go ahead and kind of check out the stick in there. Basically, what's happening, uh, especially on beat two, is that I'm diverting the roll, so I'm just pushing it one sixteenth note back. A lot of people will refer to this as an inverted roll pattern. And all that means is instead of playing a roll like right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, I'm just pushing the doubles back one sixteenth note. So I have one E and a two E and a three. So they're just kind of, they kind of go over the bar line a little bit there. So that's what's kind of happening on beat two here. Here it is. So let's try it nice and slow starting on beat one. And I have one E, a two E, and a three. Again, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Again, and one E, a two E, and a three. Again, and right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Again, and one E, a two E, and a three. Again, and right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Again, one E, a two E, and a three. Again, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Now, with that, since I know sort of looking forward to the next beat that my left hands are gonna end up being back big again. I wanna be very aware that I'm gonna be rebounding off of those last two left hands going into beat four especially, right? So let's go ahead and add on all the way to beat four. So I have one E, a two E, and a three, and a four. Notice that my left hands, a three and a four, coming back down. Two, ready, and one E, a two E, and a three, and a four. Two, Ready, and one E, a two E, and a three, and a four. Two, ready, and one E, a two E, and a three, and a four. Yep, ready, and one E, a two E, and a three, and a four. Two, ready, and one E, a two E, and a three, and a four. Ready, and one E, a two E, and a three, and a four. One more time, and one E, a two E, and a three, and a four. Now, on beat four, I have a very similar type of measure that I had, a similar type of beat that I had on beat one. So I have four E, a one. Yes, those two uh, left hands are, are still gonna be big. And that right hand has a diddle, which I'm gonna sort of leave out now just to make sure that I'm playing the rhythm correct. So let's just take beat four by itself. Two, ready, and four E, a one. Ready and the go, and ta 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 ta. Ready and the go, and ta 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 ta. Once again, rebounding that left hand. Ta ti 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 ta ti, ta 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 ta. Ready and the go and ta 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 pa pa. Ready and the go and ta 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 ta. Ready and the go and ah 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 ah. Ready and the go and yep. Ready and the go and ta 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 ta. Ready and the go and ta 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 ta. One more time and ta 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 ta. Cool. This time I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add that little bit of a double in there, keeping it nice and small making sure that I, that I keep the integrity of four E a one and not try to sort of slur that in there in an in a awkward place. One, two, ready, and ta 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 ta. Ready and the go and ta 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 ta. Ready and the go and ta 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 ta. Ready and the go and ta 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 ta. Ready and the go and ta 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 ta. Ready and the go and ta 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 ta. Cool. Let's take all of that back now to the beginning. So ta ta. Ta 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 Two, ready, and ta 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 ta
Cool. On the downbeat of this next particular measure, I have a triplet. All of them are going to be left hands. Now, I'm going to be treating this as sort of a natural, a natural uh, sort of decay or fall off. I'm not going to try to squeeze that particular accent and, and really sort of uh, force myself into very stagnant heights here. I want that particular note to, to sort of flow down nice and smoothly on that very first note there. So on beat one, I have triple it two. Yes, triple it two. Again, triple it two. Ready? And triple it two. Ready? And ta 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 ta. Ready? And ta 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 ta. Ready? And ta 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 ta. Ready? And triple it two. Ready? And triple it two. Ready? And triple it two. And notice that there's a very natural sort of prep happening here with my right hand. Triple it two. Almost like a breath. <gasps> Play, uh, uh, breathe, play. Very sort of reminiscent on the kind of prep you would take as if you were playing a wind instrument, right? Or if you were playing uh, the cymbals, you would have a very natural sort of flowing prep motion. I like to think about my hands the very same way as far as taking a breath and playing after that. So that's why I choose to play that prep in a, in a um, sort of a smooth and even fashion, as if it's a note in itself. Da, 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 da. Mm, mm. Da, 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 da. Right? Moving on along here, you'll notice the next two particular beats look exactly the same as beats one and two of the previous measure, right? So let's go ahead and just add those on after that triplet. So I have triple it and then the same exact thing that I've had before. Titi, da, ta, ta, ti, ta, ta. Except I'm not playing two left hands here. I'm going to actually release on a right hand that's low. So ta 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 right and that right hand is nice and small. Let's start on a triplet. Two, ready? And ta 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 right. Two, ready? And ta 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 right. Two, ready? And ta 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 right. Two, ready? And ta 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 right. Yes, ready? And ta 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 right. Yes, ready? And ta 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 right. Two. Ready and ta 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 right two ready and ta 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 right awesome now let's go ahead and back that up and take it all the way from the beginning so we have ta 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 Ready and ta 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 to a, a part of the a part of the beat that's not the downbeat of the particular accent. A lot of people refer to those as kicks, right? So I just have on that particular beat, Now Notice I'm gonna play that nice and slow, especially here in the beginning. And not only am I playing it nice and slow, I'm gonna play it low without the ornamentation on there, just to make sure that I have even sound quality and that I have even rhythms. So when I add that little bit of a kick to it, I won't be distorting the rhythm and not knowing it because of the odd sort of placement of the particular rhythm. Now, once I get comfortable with that, what I'm going to start to do is add just a little bit of a nudge on that second note until I get to the point where I can play it at its full, uh, at its full potential, but also not distort the rhythm or change the rhythm sort of unknowingly, right? So let's go through that particular process now, starting it with, with just one height and then going through and, and slightly adding a little bit more accent kind of every time. Two, ready? And pa da 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 da. Ready? And pa da 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 da. Ready? 
that was fun for you guys uh, make sure if you have a little bit of a problem uh, go back use the gear icon to slow it down to speed it up fast forward rewind it do whatever you have to do I'll see you guys in the next video deuce <laughs>